Biggest phone in the house. Look at this thing. Today, we're going to take a Belgian Malinois shopping and buy him everything he touches. Oh, oh, the most expensive one. Belgian Malinois are one of the top dog breeds used by the police and military because of their high intelligence and seemingly unlimited energy. Unfortunately, because people don't know this sometimes when they get the dog, this is also what leads to high intake numbers at shelters. But wait until you see this dog's journey from the shelter to shop. Also, I'm gonna take you along with me as we uncover a heartbreaking animal hoarding situation. All of this and more as I ride along with some of the most passionate animal control officers that put it on the line every single day to help save pets and support their community. I'm Rocky Kanaka and this is Animal Force. This moment right here is a lot more intense than it may seem because all of this is hinging on whether or not this dog will get adopted. And it's not going well. All right, he's about a year and a month old, so still a puppy. Odin, what a good name. He was an owner turn in. It looks like he got adopted and then returned. Malinois get returned to shelters so much because they're such an active dog and a misunderstood breed. They need so much training and dedication and work. It's just heartbreaking that I see so many of them in shelters because people get the dog because they think they're really pretty and they don't understand that all, all everything that goes into it. While the team and I come up with a plan to get Odin adopted, I want to talk about animal hoarding that's been on an increase over the years. Across the country, men, women, young and old share an addiction oh, unlike hoarding. any other. Of that, cat hoarding is one of the most common. Here's actual footage of the cat hoarding house we're visiting today. And not only were there cats that were in really bad situations, but here's an image of a turtle that was neglected. It's heartbreaking and harmful for everyone and often left to authorities and family members to clean up the mess. We're there because apparently there are still two cats that have just evaded all capture. That's where Officer Ash Blackmore comes in. Uh, my name is Ash Blackmore. I'm an animal control officer. I've been an animal control officer for four and a half years. It'll be five in October. We show up to the house. The relative that's been cleaning night and day is there to help us, and we jump into action. So they're just, just in the kitchen? They're just, yeah, okay, they're, okay. yeah. As soon as we go in, you'll hear the all, like, all, I'll the go in, all the okay. cabinets are open. Okay. And now, Previously, safe traps have been set to try to catch these cats. But they were not falling for it. They were finding other food sources, and they were not going anywhere near these traps. At this point, there was only one option left to safely remove these cats, and Officer Blackmore called Chief to get approval. But the remaining cats are all kept out of all the bedrooms. They are just in the cupboards. I have been authorized to try netting. Okay, okay. we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. The second anyone starts launching in the air too much though, we're gonna stop. Because uh, my job is to protect me, you, and these guys. Mm -hmm. So we have a cat net that I'll show you guys in a minute. It's designed for catching cats specifically because it actually has a zipper on the bottom. So you catch them in the top, you close it. It's actually got a mechanism that you slide so the top seals shut. This is the closure I was talking about. It's a little slidey deal right here. And there you go. I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous about this plan. I mean, what if we can't find the cats? Or what if they come lunging with their claws? I'm starting to see the risk that animal control officers take on a daily basis. Okay, deep breath. While Officer Blackmore is looking for these hidden cats, update on Odin. I have come up with some pretty wild ideas to get dogs adopted. We were starting to work on a plan for Odin, but I gotta tell you, the next thing that happened was just heaven sent. Are you interested in Odin? We are. We are. Oh, that's yeah. cool. He's, he's such a cool dog. As I was sitting there working on a plan, this really nice couple that was already interested in Odin showed up. Have you had this kind of dog before? We have not. While on patrol, we got a call that there was a stray dog caught in a construction site. So we're going to go over there and see how we can help. This is for a confined stray. RP is the manager at a job site. He has a small white dog that wandered onto the job site and he would like it picked up. All right, let's scan her while I got you holding her for me. He says he's chipped. Ah, yep. There it is, hey, perfect. Nice. Some really great news about this dog has a collar and a tag which allowed the gentleman to reach out and leave a voicemail for the owner. Also, great news, there is a microchip and it's up to date, which will allow animal control to reach out. Now, the only thing we have to hope for is that the owner responds. What's your name tag say, darling? Smalls. <laughs> your name is Smalls. 
All right. Okay, now this wonderful couple, Enrique and Rocio, got to spend some time with Odin and they loved him. But there was one must before they could adopt Odin. They're part of a big family. And when all of their family meets up, everyone brings their dogs. So Odin, being able to get along with other dogs, is a must. Now, Odin was fairly new to the shelter, so no one really knew if he got along well with other dogs. But Cheryl was there. And she jumped in right away to help facilitate this meet and greet between Odin and another dog. But whoa, I gotta tell you, you could have heard my heart beating over the dogs barking at the shelter in that moment. Because I know you don't know how this moment is gonna go. And I wanna tell Odin, please get along with this other dog, please. The energy level was too high, I could tell. Now Odin's not doing anything wrong. He's not attacking, he's not being aggressive, but he just, well, he's a Malinois, and the other dog can feel that, and the stress is there. I know him, I've seen him, I've seen how he's reacted in the shelter, and I've interacted with him, and so I was a little nervous because I was afraid he was gonna pull me over. It's not working. It's not working. I don't know what's gonna happen. But then Cheryl jumps in and has an idea of trying another dog. Back at the hoarding house, Officer Blackmore continues to search for this cat that is hidden somewhere. We were checking every cabinet. I mean every cabinet. I know cats are good at hiding, but when cats are in a stressful environment, like a hoarding situation for months and years on end, they're able to find the tiniest of hiding spots because the fear just drives them to those small little nooks and crannies. Somebody was being in here, yeah? Oh, God. Gross. And just as I think we've almost checked every cabinet. Whoop. Found one. Oh, everyone in that room jumped. You could see the camera bounce of Naveed holding the camera, filming all of this. Oh, my heart just stopped. But oh, the cat's loose. What are we gonna do now? Ash jumps into action. She's quick. Rocky, go ahead and put it up. So, we'll lower her in there. We got her in there. We're going to feel around until we get the zipper. Okay, baby. All right, go ahead and set it back down. All right, that's one. We'll leave that one there for now and try to find the second one. We searched everywhere for the second cat, but the family member thinks that that cat might have escaped through an opening in the house outdoors and is no longer there. Back with Odin, we are still trying to see if he is going to get along with other dogs. And there are some small signs, just pay close attention that this could work. Do you see it? It's working. He is playful. He's showing signs that he's interested in the other dog. This is great. I was so nervous in that meeting. Yeah, me too. I mean, you know Malinois, they're just so high energy and sometimes it can, it can go either really good or unfortunately really bad. It was pretty good. It could have been better, but it shows his willingness to, um, to be okay with other dogs. And that's, that's all you need is that open window to go, you know what? Spending some time working with this dog, training this dog, getting an expert um, that can train with this kind of breed, uh, it's absolutely possible that, th that this can be a perfect match. I think it's going great, but ultimately it doesn't matter what I think. It's up to the potential adopters. Do they feel confident about Odin and his ability to get along with other dogs? Oh, but the suspense of will they adopt Odin or not? I'm peeking around the corner. I'm watching them read and review all of the paperwork. At this point, I've just got to stay back and see what happens. As I watched him sit there at the desk, I got official notification. They're going to adopt him. Odin is going home with his new family. Okay, here you go. You have a good life, okay?
As a big thank you to this family, I'm going to take Odin shopping and I'm going to buy him everything he touches. I don't care how much it costs because when you adopt a dog, there's a big expense. And I just want to do this for this family as a thank you. And I can't wait to see how an elite active sports dog goes shopping. Oh, in other good news, you remember the little white dog Smalls that we picked up earlier that day? Well, guess what? The owner is at the shelter and they are ready to reclaim their family member. I can't wait to see them reunite. Look, look at your mom, look, look. You are a hot mess. Oh my goodness, come here. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, how old is yeah. 13. Oh my goodness. We'll see, we'll see, but I did. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, bye. That's off. Awesome. I've got to feel good returning. Oh, yeah. I like. I love giving them back when I can. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when they're like genuinely like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Being an animal control officer involves some of the most rewarding work out there, but it can also involve some of the most dirty work. And when I mean dirty work, I mean dirty work. Okay, so what are we doing here? So we got a call about a dead possum on the walking trail just over here. Okay. And uh, I'm in the bag just because when we kind of drove by him, yeah. I saw a lot of insect activity. So he may be pretty decayed and we'll maybe want to bag him. If he's not, I'm not going to waste the bag. Right. Uh, I'd rather have it than him uh, kind of drip on the way back. So. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, more exciting side of yeah. animal control. Okay, let's go. I'm All right, so I'm ready. Go on a walk. Okay. All right, here's the poor little thing. Yeah, he's kind of gross. Let's go, animal control. Let's go. Uh, that's got maggots and everything. So with the bag, it's pretty easy. You just kind of, you know, up. Nice and easy. Try it with the, you know, maggots. Good. Go. We're, we're good to go. We have a designated area for deads. Cut down on the smell and the cleanup. Mm. All right. Hold on. <laughs> okay, no more dead possums today, but unfortunately, we did have to swing by someone's home because they lost their pet. Hi there. Oh, hi. I'm here to pick up your kitty. Yeah, let me stay. This little thing was my little yeah, so precious sorry. little cat. It's like, oh my gosh, I just didn't. We'll look at him. Yeah. Too. How long have you had him? I want to say 10 years, eight oh. to 10 years. Like, what was your favorite thing about him? You know, he just wanted attention. He just was always right there. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you guys for coming. Okay. Okay. As promised, we're going to take Odin shopping. But I just want to say something about the opportunity I had to ride along with Ash Blackmore. She is amazing. And the fact that she's dedicated her career to doing this, to helping others, and it's something she's wanted since she was young, is just a testament that you can really do anything you want to do. And if you want to be an animal control officer and help animals and help your community, it's possible. You can do it. Okay, let me tell you how this works. There's only one rule. I buy him anything he touches. But hopefully, he picks out some really good stuff. Should we start with some toys? See if you want any toys? Oh, <laughs> he already got one. <laughs> this, you want to, okay, there actually is one rule. No <laughs> live animals. One of these? Check it out, check it out. Oh, that's it, count, count. Okay, count, count. Oh, he got them all. <laughs> You want a cat bed? Oh my gosh, what do you need a cat bed for? You want any treats like this? The biggest boat in the house! <laughs> Look at this thing! Whoa! Oh yeah, those are good ones. You want that? Okay, you want that? Okay. What else, buddy? What else? Oh, 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 he bought a bag of food! <laughs> okay, okay. You want any breath stuff? Oh, you have another one? Oh, okay, you wanna, wait, you picked a wooden stick? Couldn't you just get that outside? Oh, you got tennis balls? Okay. You want those? Yeah, okay. Okay, here you go. You wanna carry your snack along with you? Okay, come on. Oh, you want, you want the llama? Okay. Oh, and the donut. Oh, you got me, you tricked me. Oh, you like all the exotic wildlife animals, <laughs> don't you, buddy? You want a bed, buddy? You want a bed? You want a bed? All those? Oh! Oh, the most expensive one! <laughs> <laughs> Get it again. 
Okay. Uh, we don't have enough room in the cart, so. Okay. <laughs> Mom, you gotta carry it. This cart's so heavy, I can barely push it all. Odin really, really tricked me. <laughs> Everyone needs to guess what they think the total's gonna be. What do you think it's gonna be? 400. Okay. Ooh, 475. Ooh, that's, that's good, okay. I'm gonna guess that I hope my credit card works. Yeah. <laughs> this one. Okay, hit me with it. Six hundred and forty dollars and forty six cents. You all lose. <laughs> you know what? Odin wins. Odin wins. Odin, thanks, buddy. Good luck in your new life, and thanks for saving him. Yeah, of yeah. course. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, you bet, guys. Okay, we'll see. Oh, you want to come home with me? Maybe I adopt <laughs> a new dog. <laughs> Go to RockyKanaka.com. Trust me, it is worth it because I'm going to put more information on all of the animals and stories you saw here, and you'll be able to stay up to date on Animal Force. Oh, and hit that join button if you want to be a part of Animal Force on a monthly basis. Your support as a member directly impacts me being able to tell more of these stories and help more animals. And don't forget to subscribe if you love animals as much as I do. If you want to be an animal control officer and you live in the Southern California area, make sure you reach out to Animal Friends of the Valleys. I will put the link down below. And a big thank you to Officer Ash Blackmore and all of the passion you put into what you do. Are dogs or cats better? <laughs> That's a controversial question. I mean, I have both, but my dog is my best friend. My cat just likes me, kind of. So. <laughs> we still don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs>